If you go down to the Jurassic Coast today, you may well be hoping to find some fossils. Like Mary Anning, um, 200 years before you, you may pick up an ammonite or a belemnite. Like her, you'd be collecting seashells on the seashore. They're actually the fossilized shells of cephalopods, or cephs for short, the ancestors of today's squid, cuttlefish and octopus. Ammonites are really the external shells of these tentacled cephalopods. The soft parts of the animal are not preserved, but the hard external shells are. The belemnites are particularly interesting. In Mary's time, they were called thunderbolts and sold to tourists as souvenirs. But these shells were internal shells. The soft parts of these amazing squid are rarely found, but when they are, they are revealed in unbelievable detail, with ominous hard hooks on their soft tentacles, and occasionally they found with their body preserved in spectacular colors, like these. Schools of squid were the staple diet of the ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs that Mary found. The only way they could protect themselves was by squirting a cloud of ink to confuse their predators. Famously, she and friend Elizabeth Philpott were able to reconstitute the ink and use it to draw some of the specimens in their collections. Based on this idea, several people suggested that seeing that my new book about the young Mary Anning used really advanced AI technology, it seemed a beautiful irony that for the first book signings we should use 160 million year old fossil ink. Easy to say, and this is what we did. First, we had to find some well-preserved fossil ink sacks. Well, here we are with this giant mortar and pestle, and uh, we're going to grind down this uh, fossil ink um, into a fine powder. Then we had to add a substance called gum arabic uh, to make a paste. This is an ancient uh, sticky gum which was made from acacia trees. It was well known to Mary Anning and it was shipped to places like Lyme from the North African Arab ports, hence the name gum arabic. Then we had to add vinegar to add some viscosity to the um, paste and believe it or not, we we had to find an old pen to test if the whole combination actually worked. Well, that pilot seemed to work. So then we had to sign the first book. And this one is dedicated to Paul Davis, who's the geology curator at the Lyme Regis Museum, because he made an immense contribution to making sure that the story of Mary Anning in this book, in this 21st century book, is perfectly accurate. Well, that signature in Jurassic Squid Ink seemed to work. Thank you, Paul.